So I decided to resist and to go underground and put together a, a civilian um, legal defense to bring my case to a military court. Um, I decided to apply for conscientious objection and uh, five months later I resurfaced and I gave a press conference in which I denounced the war as oil driven and immoral and it received a lot of attention because at the time I was the only combat veteran to to be really outspoken about what's happening in Iraq and you know to be real critical not only of the war in Iraq but the policy the government my own unit and so because of that attention and because of my statements which were really political the entire case became politicized you know so when I had my court martial two months later it was mostly a political court martial because the, the question had been asked to the military as to whether you're going to allow conscience objectors to come back from Iraq and denounce the war and be critical of the military and the government. Are you going to open that door for conscience objectors to do the same or are you going to incarcerate this person and make an example out of him? And the military decided uh, to make an example out of me so they put me in jail. Uh, I went to confinement on a 12-month sentence. I got out in nine months due to good behavior. And in February of 2005, which is when I got out of jail, I joined an organization called the Iraq Veterans Against the War. And um, I've been active with that organization ever since. And uh, just yesterday I joined the International Socialist Organization as well, uh, which I hope to be active with as well.